Hello everyone, it's Agent again. I thought, you know, I have this around. I'll just wear my nice, nifty pharmacy lab coat, if you will. Look at that. Look how snazzy I am. I look professional. Yeah, but anyway, I thought in this video I'd talk about triggers. For, you know, for me personally, at least I'll go over some. I thought I'd talk about triggers. And, you know, triggers, pretty much, those are things that will help. Triggers are things that you will that you will get exposed to that will help onset your symptoms. That's what a trigger is. It's gonna help onset your symptoms. And in terms of triggers, I'm talking about mental health triggers. That's what it does. And when you expose yourself to certain stimuli, that's gonna help onset symptoms of an illness. That's what a trigger is. And I just thought I'd talk about it, you know, on mental health and mental illness in general. And like for me personally. It's a good idea to know your triggers. It really is. So you can actively avoid them or not expose yourself to for them for too long. You know, and I'll talk about some of my triggers. Like, I know for bipolar disorder, I, I know some of them. I probably don't know all of them, but I know a good chunk of them that now I either avoid them or, like, I'll, I'll uh, whatchamacallit, I'll not expose myself a lot. Sometimes it's unavoidable, but for me personally, like, so my voter sort of, like, for me personally, I need to get sleep. Like, I cannot get a lack of sleep, because when I do get a lack of sleep, that typically welcomes the manic episode. Or it always, almost always happens, like, don't get me wrong, there'll be times where I'll, I'll get up and I won't be manic, I'll just be dead tired. But most of the time, but it's typically about 80, for me, I find it's like 80%, 20%. 20% of the time, if I don't get enough sleep, I'll get up and I'll feel just like I should be tired and dead. And then the other 80% of the time, I'll just be like, oh, God. I'll be all crazy. That's one of my triggers is sleep. Like, I need to get enough sleep. If I get too much depressed, if I get too little, manic, and I, I try to get like 8 hours of sleep, 8 to 7 hours, that's my goal. And if I can get that... That tends to ha, tends to keep me there, so that's one thing, you know. And that's hard to do when you're in school, like I am. But that's a trigger for me. That's the personal trigger for me, folks. You know, you have sleep. Another one I find is sad music. Like when it's really depressing, a sad music. I find that when I start listening to it for an extended period of time, it starts. The, the, the depressing, horrible thoughts that are locked in the back of my head start coming to the front of my brain. And then I'll start thinking about it, and then it'll start leading me. I'll keep thinking about it more and more and more, and <laughs> eventually I'm in a depressive episode. So sad music is another thing that will, it just completely will do it. If I expose myself to a limited amount of time, like, I can still listen to it, but I try not to listen to it, like, for an hours and hours. I don't. I mean, no, maybe, maybe five, ten, maybe five, 20, ten, twenty minutes, but no, no more than that, because I know what's gonna lead to. Uh, another thing is, you know, season, seasonal changes also is a trigger that I know it's like. I find that, you know, around daylight savings time, I think I went over this in one other video, like I called it the perfect storm because I had lack of sleep, I was stressed from school and that. And, um, you know, with daily saving time, but the daily saving time kind of marks the change in the seasons, like we're transitioning into spring, and the sun's going down later. And I notice that when that happens, and I, my brain will notice that it's going down later, the sun's going down later, and I'll, it'll transition me into a manic episode. I notice that it, there's like a seasonal aspect to it, and so that's another trigger that I notice that that'll just, you know. Uh, another, what's the another one? For the Christmas season, ironically, the Christmas season, it typically is a trigger for depression. I mean, I'm so glad that this year, like, I, I didn't feel that. Like, I was careful. I was like, I know this is a trigger, and I'm going to take steps. I'm going uh, I'm to I'm try not to watch those sappy movies that always get me. I'm going to try maybe to avoid some Christmas music. You know, I'm going to try to do certain things just to take my mind off the holiday and stuff. I don't know what it is about the holiday. What is it specifically about the Christmas time period? But it always, always used to make me really depressed. I remember, like, one year, like, one year in school, when I was out of school in undergrad, like, I literally spent almost my entire winter break in bed. I only got up to go to work and eat a, eat and eat the bathroom occasionally. That was it. 
I mean, I lost weight, and it just was nasty. Like, I could not get out of bed. I, all I did was sleep all day. That's literally all I did. I mean, I, I don't know what it is, but I know that's a trigger, and I know I, I, I take steps to avoid that, you know? Uh, you know, that I, don't, I, I just don't get it. And I also find that sometimes my family comes along that I don't know what it is, too, but it will make me manic. Like, sometimes I'll get really manic -y. Like, I'll get, it'll just start bringing out, I guess, maybe some old emotions. And I'll start getting really up. And and other times I'll get really just angry. And I'll get, like, you know, just feel really nasty. And just, like, that mixed episode where I hate myself and I'm energetic. I don't know why that is. You know, I love my family. And I'm the one who drives them insane, to be perfectly honest. But when they come into town, it's just, that's another trigger. So it's like, I notice that, too. Also, I mean, the classic overstimulation is another thing, too, like, you know, flashing lights and stuff like that. But that, I don't get exposed to that that much. That's another thing, too. Another thing is some social situations I find are triggering for me for depressive episodes. Like, but like I said, you know, I don't quite fit in, but, you know, but when it's like, when it's like a huge party and that becomes very apparent, you know, when it's a huge party, like, I really don't quite have my own little group to fit into people will talk to me but people but then i'll be but then after that i'll be like on my own just wandering around and that always brings up the feelings of like you know not fitting in and just all being lonely and alone and that is the trigger for depression so that's why I like that's why I like when when i do go when there's like a gathering out and my friends want me to do things that's why it's great when it's like a uh, smaller group like I, I just don't like going to big parties because of that because I know it's triggering for me I know that so I kind of avoid it you know and yeah those are just some examples of my triggers like you know music even even like like movies sometimes movies will get me too like if it's really like I I also find that like things about high school too is another thing that I find triggering for depression like I try not to watch anything that's high school related, whether it's like, you know, like, whether it's like, you know, like the old, old, old John Hughes movies, which get me wrong, they're great, and Breakfast Club is great, but I try not to watch, but I can't watch The Breakfast Club, like, I try not to, it's a good movie, but when it, because it, it's about high school, and I went over this in the video, I didn't have the greatest time in high school, I mean, it was, I was really mostly depressed throughout high school, with some, some spurts of, <laughs> but, you know, just, it, that just brings up all those feelings again to the forefront of my brain, you know. It brings up those feelings that I never did that. And that was never my experience. And God, you know, and then it, so that's another thing. Just movies about high school, things about high school, I, I just avoid, like the plague. I find I try not to even go around my high school because it just brings up all those feelings again, you know. And those are just some examples of my triggers. And, like, there are certain things you can do, like, you can avoid them. It's some, some triggers you can avoid. Like, I don't have to pass by my school. I don't have to do that, I don't have to watch this video, I don't have to do this, listen to music, but and there's something that you can't avoid. Like, I cannot avoid, you know, something I can't avoid having to stay up a little bit, something I can't avoid that, something that I can't avoid the holiday season, I can't avoid when it's starting to come spring, I can't avoid that. So, my advice is that you need to take steps, like, in order to kind of keep yourself in check, try to keep yourself managed, you need to take steps to do it, like, I'll, like, sometimes I'll tell people, like, around the holidays, I was telling people, like, yeah, last time I kind of had a depressive episode, and, you know, I, this is kind of triggering, and I was telling people that, and they were like, no, don't worry, if you ever feel like it, just get on the Facebook, we'll talk to you, and, you know, so, so, support group helps, you know, doing things, you know, to take your mind off stuff will help, too, but, yeah, it, and, but I just want to say, that just wanted to give an example, the triggers are real, they are real, I don't know, I'm a, Future pharmacist, future pharmacist. Uh, there it is, future pharmacist. I I know they they are real guys. They, they are, and it will happen. Trust me. You might think, no, if I don't expose myself, I'm better. No, 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 no. You're not any more immune to it than I am. You know what I mean? It it, it will happen. So just you know, watch out for that. If you can avoid them, try to. And if you can't, try to work your way to manage it. You know. And, yeah, that's it. If anyone wants to, please leave a comment discussing, like, if you, leave a comment, because I like having back and forth in this. Like, if you want to, you know, 
to say some of what are your some of your triggers are if you can relate to this. Leave it. I like reading comics. Comments. Well, comments and comics.